Well, well, if it isn't the Dutchman. All hands on deck. Take the loop. Go away. You're biting the fish. You want to watch out. Someday you'll catch one. Someday I... Oh. She's got one. I'll have it fried tonight. <laughs> I'm awfully sorry. I wonder if you could help me. I'm looking for a boat called the Bonaventure. Yes, I believe the skipper's a man called Morgan. I believe he is. Well, I've been to Griffith's Bay in Hawks Cove, and an old boy told me to try here. You better ask a harbour master and go to discuss down there. <laughs> Thanks awfully. Duchess Ahoy, she's coming to tell us about the one that got away. <laughs> well, if I'd have known you were coming, I'd have washed the deck. I don't know what you're up to this time, Morgan, but I thought I'd come and warn you. There is a man looking for you. There's a lot of people looking for me, honey, but not as cute as you. Well, this one has a gun. I wonder which little old father that could be. Let's see. There was that red head down in Exeter, then there Look was... here, I really don't care if you've got six bullets in your head. It might knock some sense into it. Oh, no, wait a minute, Duchess. You Look can't out, be... here comes father. Hello. <laughs> we both got here together, didn't we? My name's Hobart, Major Hobart. I take it you're Morgan. So? I, I, I wonder if we could have a word together. Free country. Uh, alone on that. We're as good as alone now. This is Dusty, my maid of all work, and this is Miss Lisa. She's a writer. Or she's only interested in romance. You don't happen to have a nice romance for her, do you? All right, Dusty, check your stores, and I'll meet you up at the loft. Aye, aye, Skip. He's too young for the red to make stuff. <laughs> this isn't running a fiddling Swiss watches or cut price because this is big. How big? Meet me in London at 11.30 tomorrow, Parliament Square, block of offices opposite Big Ben. Doesn't this important chap have a name? At 11.30 tomorrow. Quite an important name, too. Supposing I don't like the chap. I think you'll like it. Does he carry a gun, too? A gun? As a matter of interest, what make is yours? I'm afraid I don't understand, old man. I just hope you got a permit, that's all, because anything illegal makes me nervous, old man. <laughs> I can see we're going to get along famously. Yeah, I love you, too. Sandy, the suspense is killing me. Who was he? Front for some guy in London. What's the job? I don't know. Something big, he said. To bring it in? I'll take it out. I will know tomorrow. Don't go walking into some excise stuff. Ah, he was too obvious to be excised. Are we shaving for tomorrow, or is there a gala party tonight? How long have you been working for me? Nearly eight years. Have I ever included you in my toilet arrangement? Never. Well, and that's why you're the scrubbiest, mangiest-looking fugitive on the seven seas. <laughs> Tell me something. Can you keep a secret? Yes. Not a single bullet hole. <laughs> Look, Morgan, if you came here just I to... came up here to eat. You came here to eat? Huh? That's right. Tell me, you always cook with a screwdriver? I'm trying to fix a typewriter. Typewriter? Ah, delicious. I bring you a small hors d'oeuvre. Oh, I'd hate to think what's in here. That's something you always wanted. Well, it's an odd way to type. How do you do that? Standing on your head or with mirrors? Probably bone a few. I stopped it. Oh. No, you got G trouble. Yeah, everything goes along fine, then all of a sudden you got G's on top of a mountain. Morgan, for heaven's sake. <laughs> kind of cute, isn't she? I thought you might like to say you caught her. I won't breathe a word. I ought to cook it and make you eat. I'd eat more than that, Duchess. No, we said we won't start all this again. You said, not we said. Must we have a fish come between us? You are cloud. Now, Morgan, please. Okay. Open it up. I'll get in, too. Oh, you are a big fool. How can you expect anyone to take it seriously? Oh, here it comes again. Why don't you get a steady job? You're wasting your life. You're fighting a losing battle. Ah. It's the only battle I know. You don't really believe that. Listen, for two years they taught me how to run blockades and slip patrols, how to get stuff into occupied Europe, and they gave me medals for it. 
Then one day somebody hollers pack, and suddenly the whole job becomes undesirable. Values change. Did I change them? No, but you better accept them. I make you some dinner. All right. Maybe I do one more job and, and quit. I said maybe. Put some plates in the oven. Then, then maybe I make enough out of this job to take some time off and learn something else. I'm still talking maybe. Then what? The eggs are in the fridge. Uh, never mind the eggs. Then what? Why don't you kiss me? And if I do, what do I get? Night with me. And if I don't? You still get an omelette if you pass me the eggs. Oh. Hmm. Anything feed it. Fill her up. I'm quite empty. That's just what I like. Empty customer. Means more money for me. There's a squad car on the other side of the road. All right for all the water, sir. Yeah, they're fine. They got the bride this morning. Who got him? Special branch. The heat's on. Well, there are, sir. Now, let me see. That'll be uh, 35 and 8. Never mind about pay. Feed it. Thank you very much, sir. for London. You're late, old man. He doesn't like you to get waiting. Neither do I. Let's go. Hannah, this isn't the place. I'm not stupid, you know. You mean it's an act? What did this guy do? Want a sweepstake? Tell the Baron we're here, will you? Sure. Baron? I'd have worn my best suit. Baron who? Tell her. Keller, 20,000 oil wells and he needs me? The Baron doesn't need anyone, old man. He just hopes you'll do business. Yeah, I read about some who wouldn't. Nope. No, not one more penny. So you will crash. Console yourself. It will only be a little crash. What? Mr. Hobart and the gentleman. Gentleman in, Hobart out. Morgan, pray be seated. I fear you have had a long and tiring drive. And now I'm here. Of course. I will come straight to the point. But first let me explain that this has nothing whatever to do with my business. 
a personal matter, very close to my heart. Like money? No, Mr. Morgan. There are more important things than money. Do tell me. A debt of honor. And I am a man who believes in paying his debts. Such a debt I owe to a man who helped me many years back in my own country. When I had a country. Until a month ago, I did not even know if he was still alive. I then discovered that he was in Prague, attempting to escape from that unhappy city. I have contrived to bring my friend as far as Hamburg, where he now is without passport or papers, until I can send somebody for him. Somebody I can trust. Somebody like yourself, Mr. Morgan, who has experience in these things. But please help yourself. I am neglecting you. I realize, of course, that I'm asking you to break the law, and that grieves me. But I am a child of honesty. <laughs> what can I do? It is not for personal gain, it is a moral obligation. Opium? His name is Kudnik. Paul Kudnik. He is now hiding at number 17 Ludwigstrasse. Humboldt. Now tell me the real story. You don't believe me? How much you paying? Two thousand pounds. Sure I believe you. Continue. Hello. Hope you didn't mind my sitting down to wait. Hiya, Mr. Parkinson. And to what do I owe this pleasure? You left your ignition key in, Mr. Morgan. Very unwise. There's a lot of crooks around these days. Yeah, that's true. Who wants to talk to me now? Special branch, Colonel Patchway. Okay, where to? Of course, you haven't been there yet. Just make for Kensington. Egerton Garden. I see you came prepared for a siege. You never know. You might have got lost in a one-way street. <laughs> They just caught a friend of yours, Mr. Bride, another so-called buccaneer. You and your boat were mentioned in the proceedings. Names, dates, places. It's a pity because there are other names and dates and places I know record. Your service activities brought you a DSO. Your civilian activities will bring you a good long jail sentence. What are you arresting me for? A number of offenses. Petty smuggling, aiding illegal entry. First, you've got to have evidence. You're giving us all the evidence we need. We have a two-term doctor here, and you're coming and going. Unabridged and illustrated? I just you listen to this, man. You outran a French Coast Guard boat on the 5th. On the 6th, you evaded a customs patrol boat off Penzance. You docked at Wainport on the 7th, and you sailed again on the 10th, supposedly for Portsmouth. But you turned up in Rotterdam. Oh, you've got yourself a peephole with a long telescope. If I dock and sail 24 times a night, is that illegal? I never assisted a legal entry in my life. Not yet. Go ahead and arrest me. This I'd like to see. I think there's some slight misunderstanding. I didn't say that I was going to arrest you today or tomorrow, perhaps not this week at all, but next week or the week after. Fine. I'll see you then. Now, you go right ahead while the weather lasts and give us all the evidence we need. You need more than evidence, Colonel. You need a longer telescope. Well, don't get up. I'm in. Well, the fisherman is a woman. I thought you were in London. That ah, just shows you how careful you got to be. You might have said, Morgan's in London. Now look at all the things that I can get up to. You want to get a welcome? No, you do not. You go outside and knock and wait till you're told to come in. I ah, might have found a strange man in here. Instead, I, I find my favorite duchess working. Don't like to have people reading your stuff, huh? Quite right. Just like painters. No conceit till it's finished. I'll trade you a surprise for a kiss. What sort of a surprise? What sort of a kiss? Not even sisterly. You want to bet? <laughs> Put a piece of paper in that gadget. Hmm? Go ahead, I want you to type something for me. Let's see. Uh, gotta get this just right. Put it at the top in caps for sale. Newly rigged and fitted for Bonaventure. Go ahead, type, and get the kiss ready. Oh, Morgan. It did it. It did it.
Better get your coat. My coat? There's a nip in the air tonight. Where are we going? We're going to celebrate on board. Dusty's prepared a farewell dinner in the ex-skipper's cabin. His omelets are tortured, but if you'd care to risk it. I'd risk anything tonight. My sentiments exactly. Lover, pipe the admiral aboard. <laughs> is that the best face you can muster? This is a celebration. Let's smile. Cheer up, Dusty. There'll be other boats. Not like the Bonaventure, the boat. It's like having a child rested from your bosom. Get below with your man and watch your tongue. He's not used to having a woman aboard. It's no fault of the woman. You know, I have an idea this is going to be quite an evening. Quite an evening, Goldie. Last celebration we had was 1946 on Christmas. Potter is served. Come on. This we call the banquet room. And over here. Funny joke. Uh-huh. And it's on you. I suppose asking you to put me ashore immediately is a waste of breath. Complete. Am I allowed to know why? Sure. Because this is one trip I don't want Egerton Gardens to know about. Two miles on, Skip. Unless you're the channel's for much, you'll never make it now. Fine. Let's eat now and discuss your career after. A man who's so smart about everyone else. You are incredibly dumb about you. Listen, Dusty. Can't you drop some sense into his head? Oh, no, ma'am. Not a big mutiny. Remember, it's your duty to warn him that anything he says may be taken down and twisted and used in evidence against I him. I don't think that's funny. That makes two of us, Duchess. Sure, I've been dumb, but then I didn't know special branch gave courses in romance. Now get below and have your dinner before I return the compliment. Or don't you have an appetite? I'd like to keep your lips news eyes, because I want to see what it does to that smug look on your face. It's about Interpol. Interpol, as you know, is international police. Right now, they're waiting for a man to be smuggled out of the continent. They don't know from where, but they're covering the whole coast from Skagerrak to Gibraltar. And they don't know by whom. But they think it might be by a petty pirate called Morgan on a boat called the Bonaventure. Now let's go below and have dinner. Or does you have an appetite?
morning, good morning. Never has a hatchway framed such a pretty picture. Why are we stopped? Well, I shouldn't really tell you, miss. But it's because this is a very dangerous position on the move, and I can't swim. What are you doing? Removing the name. You're going to sail with us, what? Huh? Oh, no, no, no. We're going to give her a new name. The skipper thought of calling her Interpol, but he felt that might be a bit impertinent. Did he now? Yes, he did. I trust you're feeling a little more tractable this morning. For heaven's sake, Morgan, have a little sense. Do you think that changing a name will fool anybody? I'll tell you what I do think. I think you better go put on some clothes and come up on deck, because the law has absolutely no dignity with its head sticking out of a hatchway. <laughs> you know, I had an uncle once who got his other end stuck. I don't care to hear about it. How's it coming? This side's Well, hurry up on the other side. We've got to be in Hamburg before the tides change. There's a boat. That's the patrol boat. I'll start the engine. You'll do nothing of the kind. You'll stop jumping around. If we can see them, they'll be watching us through glasses right now. You'll walk very slowly and casually over to the port side and drape the tarpaulin over the unpainted side. Oh! Hey! Open the door! Be a good girl and shut up! Shut up! All covered. You're going to kid them that's the radio. You're going to make sure she's quiet. Oh! You're a man of the world. Hey, wait a minute. Now listen to me, sir. So have you, miss, if you sit on that depth charge? Depth charge? Relax, will you? We only use it to celebrate births, christenings, and marriage. And we're ready for a christening now. Lettering's a bit shaky, but I have to finish it left-handed. Huh. Trim little craft, neat lines, cute little stern. What else could I call it? The Duchess. <laughs> Come on over here. Let's do this thing properly. I rechristen this ship the Duchess. You're mad. Don't worry, that one's full of bricks. We call it the Ditch It Quick Machine. And one peep out of you in Hamburg, and I may set you on a real one. Full speed ahead. I skip. Uh, breakfast for the beautiful spy? <laughs>
Help, I've been kidnapped. Tell Colonel Patchway. <laughs> I must be psychic. You're a silly girl. I was just going to parole you to see the sights. Look, Morgan, do you think I want to play it this way? Do you think I get a kick out of seeing you walking head first into jail? You should have joined the Salvation Army. They reform better than the police. All right, Morgan. But I warn you, I'm going through with this. I got news for you, Duchess. So am I. Curse some working clothes. You can give this place the feminine touch. Oh, uh... Just to show you there's no hard feelings. When you get back to England, you and Patchway can have the exclusive story. I'll mail it to you. Okay, Dusty, this is it. Keep your fingers crossed. I'll be back before dark. You mean I can't take a look at something? You take a look at that girl and keep looking. She's just bubbling over with duty. Do you want adventure? Do you crave excitement? Do you wish to see the world? Join the blockade buses and end up babysitting. Well, that's better than jail sitting, isn't it? What if she kicks the bolt hurry? So let her. She'll get laryngitis. No one's going to hear her in this berth. I'll get Emil to refuel for you, but nobody else boats. You got smallpox on board or something. Nobody comes aboard. I'm going to have a fine time, aren't I? Where are you going? Ludwigstrasse, wherever that is. And have the engines running from 1900 hours onward. Let's stand. Fritz? Yeah? From Amiel. <laughs> Give that. Ludwig Strassel. English? No. Uh -huh. You uh, wait here for me? No. Uh -huh. I go back to the docks. No. Uh -huh. Come sir. Nine. I was told that he was. You want something, please? All flashy by it, sir. Uh, I want to see Herr Paul Kudnick. Herr Kudnick? Who sent you, please? Look, I'm a busy man. Is he here or isn't he? Come in, please. I ask. In here. Paul Kudnick. You're a friend of Dr. Herr Kudnick? No. I don't even know the man. So sorry. I send for Herr Kudnick now. Thank you. You will sit down, please. No, thanks. My blood circulates better this way. You 
wish to see me? I wish to see Paul Kootenay. I am Paul Kootenay. Oh. oh. Well, uh, I, I feel kind of silly now that I'm here. I, uh, there's a fellow down at the docks that owed me some money, 50 marks. He didn't have it. He said, you see Paul Kudnick and, and he'll give it to you. I, I hate to ask you for it, Mr. Kudnick, but I've come all this way. 50 marks, eh? Well, it may not sound like very much to you, but it's a lot of dough. Of course, of course. Let me see what I can do for you. about 3,500 pounds. You want another game? Uh, no, no, I can't afford it. All right. Let's stop play acting, Dusty. You are worried and I am worried. He should have been back by now, shouldn't he? He would have been back if I'd been there. Look, he said he was going to lose Victor, so why don't you go now? Because I've got to stay and watch you. Who told you? I never told you. What number, Ludwig Strasser, Dusty? What number? Don't you start trying to work on me. I've been vaccinated against police women. Look, look, Dusty, we could both go. He may need some help. Look, I'd, I'd give you my word of honor I stay by you. Don't you trust me. Like my sister. She's in jail.
Послушайте, да ж это невозможно, да ж мы, мы должны работать скорее, да? Мы, мы говорили, что надо это все сделать хорошо, да? Довольно. Да ж он сказал, что мы остальных встретим в Каменоломе. Анбек. Анбек? Ну да, да, в Анбек. Иди назад. А, а остальных американцев мы оставим здесь. Иди назад. Ну чё? Oh, no, I don't believe it. <laughs> what kind of havoc have you caused on the boat? What'd you do with that thing? You got knocked out of it. I had to, Morgan. Oh, sure, you had to. What time do Patchway and the Marines? Morgan, for heaven's sake, I'm here to help you. Who are those Russians? Russians? Yes, sir. I heard them talking. You understand Russian? Yes, All part of the course, huh? They're they taking some man away to arm back. They're not taking anybody anywhere. Morgan, this is serious. We can get some help. We are not going to do anything. I didn't invite you to this ball, Russ. Don't you think you're going to sit this dance out? But Morgan... Listen, will you? Stay in here. Probably stop a bullet out there.
you want to play rough, huh? All right, rough it is. Ah! I think the bullet ought to sit this one out. <coughs> they took him. Better to sit down. Sit down? I've been lying down for hours. We can do nothing but wait. I'll have to your police work. I mean, if they got him, would we know yet? And where's Emmy? Emmy's busy. If they got the cup of tea, someone would telephone and. Uh... I was doing by a dame. Yeah, I know. It happens to the best of them. I'm sorry. She's sorry that you're not hurt. I never said that. Yeah, she's right here. Now, listen. Don't talk. Listen to me. I got to have Amy allergic. If he's not there, find out where he is. I can't move till I know. He wants Emil, quick. Mustn't interrupt Emil. Pardon me a moment. Where is Emil, your square skull? Where he is, he doesn't want to be disturbed. Well, you'll be disturbed. He'll have to pull him out himself. All right. All right, I tell. He's with his Fräulein at the Plantenen Blumen. He's at the Plantenen Blumen. The Plantenen what? Spell it! Spell it? It's enough I should say it. Tell him, square that. Plantenen Blumen. P-L-A-N... Sure, you were a help, but you can't play with the big boys. Back to the ship and don't go near. Push your food no, under the door. No, but there's something bigger than struggling. You've got to tell me what. Where's thing. Emil? At the cafe by the pump. I was the law again. Suppose and I should ask you the same question. Right now, I wouldn't know how to run. Take care of him, Dusty. I didn't mean to hurt you, Dusty. There'll be others getting hurt before this is done. Come on. Boy, are they dead? Don't I don't like. I have an office. There's no time for an office. Minutes are precious. Later, later. Not later, right now. Listen, if you make a scene here, I have you thrown out. You do, and you'll throw out $5,000. I have it. How much? I want to talk. Alone. Oh, she doesn't understand English. Sit down. People are looking. Where's Hanbeck? Hanbeck is a little village six kilometers from the eastern How border. How far from here? 
Well, it's just about an hour's ride by car. Have you got a truck? Yes, why? I want it, and you. About this $5,000. It's yours for transport and help. Good, strong help, right now. Okay. Uh, hello, my book. You must watch the here to get love this to get Yeah, duck. Okay, there is Andy. 35,653 inhabitants. The six men, you, France, and me, we only got to question 3,000 each. If it was easy, I wouldn't need you. Let's get moving. How many frontier checkpoints are Two, there? Two, but something is not right. Anbeck is no place to pull people across the border. The old war fortifications run three ways around the town. Here. Well, and it's odds on. They're going to try to find some way to get him through a checkpoint. You all set? Yeah, well, I just know Let's move. Yeah, but why do they make it so difficult? No, no, something is not right. All right, so we play hunt. Okay, for five thousand dollars, I play anything. Flex, those kids. Sandy, I don't think they can. Never mind. Sure. They're gone. It's getting lighter ready. Let's tromp on it. I think we're lost. Oh, fine. Switch off your motor. Switch it off, quick. It's a car. That's no car, my friend. This is going to be on foot. I just hope you've got the right party. I hope I got the right hunch. Bring him through the woods. Hans! Hans, come still! Hans, come down! Hello, Hans! Still, short! Hang up!
Okay, Pop. Off you go. Come on, get this thing turned around. Ooh, jump up. Get me away from them. They are everywhere. So am I. Got you relax and take it easy. Before you know it, you'll be safe and sound in Keller's office. Sometimes I think it would be uh, better if... Here. Wipe your face. Verdammt doch mal, was ist denn los? Die Polizei ist doch da. Come on, Doc. Put on some kind of a smile. They are everywhere, I tell you. If it's trouble, step on it and duck. Wir sind die Verkehrspolizei. Es ist uns ein unbekannter Hubschrauber gemeldet worden. Haben Sie etwas davon gesehen? Wir möchten wissen, ob wir einen Hubschrauber gesehen haben. Helikopter! Tell him it went that way! Yeah, that way! Thank you. Hey, Pop! 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 Now is for Fritz not to be on gate seven. Fritz, let's go up to lunchtime. Make yourself scarce, Pop.
They raid my place. Two million American cigarettes. Never mind your cigarettes. How do we get to the boat past that lot? Why today of all days? Watch out. Can you turn in this space? Just about. Then get your wheels turned and stand by. Wait a minute. I agree with you, but a gun won't help us now. Don't ask any questions. Get out of here. Aren't you a little late with such obvious advice? Move, you fools. Move. The boat's gone. Quick, away. Morgan. Gone where? Morgan, you're hurting me. Gone where? Down even to the old landing stage. My landing stage? Yes. A man came, one of the old men, told us there was a raid coming. Morgan, I can't breathe. You swear das Fahrzeug einholt. When did they leave, Duchess? About 20 minutes before you. You're playing a dangerous game, Duchess. Dangerous and... See? Get down, quick! Keep quiet. That's not my boat. I know our engines. shoulder. How are you, Doc? I have not been shot. These are brave men. You're all right yourself, Doc. Can't be far now, can't Ich verstehe nicht. Can't be far now. How soon do we get in there? Wir kommen näher. Der Nebel hat uns aufgehalten. In fünf oder sechs Minuten, je nach der Strömung. Oh, fine. I'll have six of those. Do you hear that? We're here. Over there. Shot him. The kind of people you were fighting last night. He was working for Colonel Patchway. I asked if I could take his place. Well, I'm glad we had something in common, he and I. You had nothing in common. Look, Morgan, I don't know who Kudnik is or what he's done. 
but it's obviously a political issue. It's your job to turn him over to the authorities. Why don't you write a message and put it in a bottle and throw it over for Patchway? He knows it already. He'll be waiting for him for Think it over. Do you think you can drive yourself? Morgan! Oh, hi. Dusty! Leave Dusty alone. You're going to get some sleep. Look at these. Split watches under the potatoes. There's thousands of them. Three thousand, I think, Emil said. Well, the Dusty, you'll take over the wheel. He's out on his feet. Well, I'd better stow those in the canister in case we want to ditch him in a hurry. Okay, if you take them out. Thank you, thank you, but I've been undressing myself ever since I was five years old. Sleep? Thank you, yes. You haven't slept. I will. You must sleep. You need it. Captain Morgan, why did you do all this for me? Keller paid me. Keller, you mentioned his name before. Who is Keller? Who is he? He's your buddy got you out of Poland. Perhaps he did. Somebody certainly did. Tell me something, Pop. Why has everybody chased you? You discovered how to make gold? <laughs> yes, I, I suppose you can say that. You know something of polymerization? Oh, sure. It is a process of chemical change where two or more substances combine in such a way that the whole atomic structure is altered. And so, of course, a new chemical exists. A new substance. What could be simple? I was a physicist at the Fuel Research Laboratories in Prague. I evolved by a similar process of fuel with the most highly volatile mineral elements known to men. I've evolved the means of multiplying an aircraft's range by a factor of six. And now you're the life and soul of the party. They were two killed as we crossed into Germany. Yeah. Bob. If, if you had your choice, where would you like me to take you? What does it matter? You'll get me wherever I go. Would you feel safe with Keller? I'm in your hands, Captain Morgan. Ah, no. That's what worries me, Pop. I want to dress that wound. Putting me up for the kill, huh? Oh, oh wait a minute. I, I guess I just get a kick out of fighting with you. I'm sorry. Come on. Do me up. Will you? Please? You know, sometimes I think what an awful waste of good material you are. It's going to hurt. Funny thing, I was just thinking the same about you. Now, hold it. Have you decided yet? Decided what? What you going to do about Kudnik? Oh, sure. Take him to Keller. Sell him to Keller. Listen, I took on a job and I get paid for a job. Kudnik knows where he's going. He doesn't mind. I ask him. Do you know why he's going there? Do you? No. But I can guess. He's a scientist, isn't he? Uh, Miss Bodie's a pastor. Now, that makes two of us. Uh, do it again. I like it. She 
loves me. She loves me not. Say what you like about them continental holidays. It's always nice to be back again. Yeah, fine. Now listen, if that girl's telling the truth, they're waiting for us at Wayneport. As long as she's kept here, they'll go right on waiting. This is where I came in. She's asleep. I locked her in. Here. Let's see, four hours. Check your watch. 6.47. Exactly eight hours from now, I want you to turn her loose. Turn her loose? She'll go straight to Patchway. That's what I hope. Keep your engines warm and get the boat turned around. But, sir, I, the Baron is about to have his breakfast. Well, fine. But, sir, you can't. All right, I have a card. Good morning, Morgan. Not very good coffee. You ought to speak to him about that. Tell me, does he drop the coffee into the water or pour the water over the coffee? Where's Goodnick? Where I left him. Some people like drip coffee. Don't yeah, play the fool with me, Morgan. Have you got him? Uh-huh. Now I have come to talk terms. Terms? We talked terms before you went. Yeah, we also talked a lot of guff about conscience and debts of honor. What exactly do you mean? I mean you're a liar, Keller. It was supposed to be a simple job of collecting a runaway pal and slipping out of the country. Your, uh, your pal doesn't even know you. You were hired at a price. The price has gone up. Enough to cover blackjacks and bullets. Shooting? Where? Well, you'll read about it. They can't hush this up. There's a whole pack of them hunting. You're just one of them. He's got something that all of you want, and I know what it is. Furthermore, I have Kudnick. Hadn't figured on that, had you? How much do you want, little man? 100,000 pounds. How little does that make me? You're a madman. You're so right. I'll give you just 30 seconds to make up your mind from... Now. And if I say no? I'll turn Kudnick over to the authorities. Don't try and bluff me, Morgan. I'll have you thrown into jail. Oh, no, you won't. There's a million in this for you, and you know it. Five to go. OK? See you on Wall Street. Morgan. Have the money here in cash today. Then you can take him where you like and how you like, but I'm out of it. He will. Major Herbert will be here at 3 o'clock with your money. I'll to you, not Hobart. And there'll be no money until you do. Check. Tell him to bring a car. With gas, the price it is, it's an expensive drive until you get Kudnick on the market, huh? Robert, here, three o'clock, bring a car and a gun. If you promise no funny business, there's tea and sandwiches. No funny business, Dustin. How long are you going to keep me here? Only till this evening, Miss Bill, I'll be back by then. Oh, what? Sorry, I've got to keep you cooped up. But you're such a headstrong girl, you know. Oh, well, there's nothing much I can do now. Morgan's in London, and heaven knows what good luck you'll find out. Heaven and me, miss. This is his cup of tea. Wake up, Doc. Here's a good old English copper. Well, certainly, I don't think you must have needed it.
Marshal Brush 5B. Colonel Patchway. Who is that? Great Scott. Yes. Yes. Get this on tape. Are you all right? Fine. What's well, still on board? What now? Clarkson, in here. Where are you talking from? Somebody the Thames Estuary. The exchange is Marsh Fleet. M A R S H. Yes. He left for London early this morning. Back tonight. Bringing some other people. I don't know. All right. Now go back to the bed. Yes, immediately. It's not to leave, and you're not to let the men out of your sight till we get there. Good luck. The Bonaventure, Marsh, please. Call it two county road check, Kent and Essex. Mm, do we know his car? Not a clue, but there can't be that many cars going to Marsh, please. Special branch, calling mobile. It's to be followed, not stopped. Right. Castro, alert Sheerness. Stop par bed, Bonaventure, possibly leaving a chili. When have you got this man? Land's End. No, it's not far now. How far? Oh, we'll catch your ferry. It's about 15 minutes. If not, it's a half hour. Hobart will catch it. All in one piece, if you don't mind. We got a valuable cargo aboard. I mean the money. Black Humber making for Mush Fleet Ferry, three men and following. Just made it. Last one on. Darn. You got contact with the other side? No, sir. Where's the next place to cross? Oh, 12 miles up the river. 12 miles? Well, the ferry will be back before then. OK, this is it. Cash on delivery. Wasn't that the deal, old man? Just sit down. What goes, Dusty? You said let her go, Skips, till she came back. It is as simple as that, Mom. Now sit. Are you, Kudnick? So much trouble I cause. Just sit down, please. I get cramps easily. You can last 15 minutes. Now listen to me, Skips. Put that gun on the table. Then stand still. You heard what the man said. Everyone, still. All right. Now everybody does as I say. Dr. Kudnick, over here, please. I am delighted to meet you at last. Baron Keller. Keller, I owe you my liberty. You have no more fears, Doctor. You are a free man. So I am. And now, my friend, Sherbrooke. Sherbrooke? I have a ship clearing there tonight, and we are meeting it. What's the matter with you? Our deal finishes right Our there. deal finishes in South America. Are you crazy? Please, sir, good men, without them, I wouldn't be here. You owe them nothing. You owe me everything and you're going to repay for your life with your knowledge. Yes? Yes, I have plant and laboratories waiting for you. Now get moving, Captain. Morgan, we can't sail without Why you. Why don't you shut up for a while? Start your engine, Shorty. What do you want, Skip? I'll chump it. Do what he says. Thank you. I'll give you your course. After you, Captain. Not on deck. You steer from here. Nobody on deck. Right, sir. 
now. How to stop it? From Marshleaf, huh? This is a matter of interest, Baron. When do I get my money? You'll get me to Cherbourg and ask Ben. Doc, I feel kind of sorry for you. Making a fortune is good, but working with slime is not so good. <laughs> What's <laughs> that? Chef! Tell him to give more speed. He can't. You're right, I can't. We must have more speed. Then get out and push. Change course, avoid it! It's a patrol boat. First time I've been glad to see one. Well, let me get away. Shut up. But it's all right for you. You'll talk your way out of it. Their checkbook and their lawyers. You Stop wearing that gun about it. Go back and on the pool. Who did it? Not you. Oh, no, not you. Drop Don't that gun over. over. You got me into this and you'll leave me in it. You're Baron Kelly. You've got millions. A million can't stop up for it, Baron. <laughs> The suspense who shot who. All right, now, I warn you. I shoot anyone who makes a false move or just showing that boat passes. What makes you think it's going to pass? It's a far bird, all right, but it's not the Bonaventure. Hard as starboard. You're doing fine, Morgan. Just keep going. Dusty, custom control boat, usual avoiding action. Aye, aye, Skipper. We've been hit! Dusty, they put a six inch brick in us. Any damage you're in? Everything seems to be okay. Cover it back and see what the damage is. Don't order me about it! Will you, you fool, and see what's happened? We may be home. Holy smoke, there were death charges out of port. What happened? Duchess Ahoy! Ahoy there, Duchess! Heave to! Okay, Dusty, heave to. Right. I'm sorry, Morgan. Sorry? You ought to be ashamed of your department for taking so long. What I counted mean? on the police getting here a lot sooner. What's the matter? Was Patchway in bed? <laughs> Good girl you got there, Colonel. We think, sir. Awful waste of talent, her working for you people. It's been nice, Duchess. Be nice, Morgan. Say, uh, did, did you ever figure a Duchess ought to have a duke? So many times, Morgan. So many times.